Now, ladies and gentlemen, did you know that bad handwriting is not part of the curriculum of a medical school? Now, most doctors write very bad handwritings. And some of you will tend to believe that this is actually taught in a medical school. That is not true. The only excuse that a doctor can have uh, when trying to uh, write a prescription that is not even visible is that during their syllabus times, their notes were so much and there was so much pressure and they, they couldn't do uh, anything about it but write such type of handwriting. But that is not part of the curriculum. Therefore, doctors should write legibly. I'm saying this because if that prescription is intended to end up in the hands of a pharmacist or a pharmaceutical technologist, who is the dispenser? This basically means this pharmacist should understand, should read and understand the prescription, interpret it, and then package these drugs for the patient in their adequate amount of uh, doses, in their appropriate frequencies, and even the right drugs. However, most pharmacists speculate once they see the doctor scribbling, they just speculate. Like, for example, I've seen so much uh, prescriptions that have the word or the, the phrase PCM. And most of the pharmacists interpret that as paracetamol. That is not right. First things first, doctors are not supposed to write bad handwritings. Second, doctors are not supposed to prescribe in brand names. You're supposed to prescribe in generic names which are universal and anybody from any country can read it and understand what you're writing. Again, remember this. As you scribble that prescription, that pharmacist can easily make mistakes and all of us are under an oath to protect the lives of the patient. Therefore, there are drugs that are highly sensitive, drugs for, let's say, uh, uh, cancer, the, uh, the chemotherapeutic agents, drugs for heart problems like digoxin. These are drugs that the slightest increase in dose can cause a problem. They can actually send this person into an early grave. Therefore, if you write in a way that this pharmacist cannot interpret it and dispense the appropriate dose, you're actually causing harm. Therefore, it's only in the public interest to let you know that that bad handwriting is just a form of laziness uh, in the healthcare system. Doctors should write legibly. Now, remember, drugs are poisons in regulated doses. And that's why even in Kenya, drugs are regulated by a pharmacy and poisons board. Therefore, they are just poisons in regulated doses. So imagine if somebody writes a prescription to someone who has a liver problem or someone who has a heart problem, and this prescription has either drug that has lesser quantity or higher quantity. And that is exactly what the pharmacist will dispense after speculating. That means you will end up killing this patient or you will end up exacerbating the side effects of that drug in this patient. And therefore, these types of handwritings are not supposed to be part of healthcare and it is not taught anywhere in the medical school or curriculum.